All right, so this is going to be a very quick video about how to get a bunch of totally free and extremely high quality brushes for Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do is have your brushes window open. And to do that, go to window, and then from the window menu, click on brushes. And that is right here on my screen. And if you scroll all the way down, they kind of buried these. There's some folders with brushes. And each one of those folders will have the name Kyle in front of the name. There has been a designer named Kyle Webster who made a bunch of really, really awesome brushes over time. And at some point, Adobe basically bought all of those brushes and then included at least some of them inside of Photoshop. So if I just click one of these at random here, there's a whole bunch of different brushes to choose from and use with very, very different styles. But for whatever reason, these folders do not contain all of the brushes that Kyle has made in the past. So there's actually a lot more that you can get. So to get all of the brushes, as opposed to just the ones that they included, there's a hamburger menu in the upper right hand corner of the brushes window. It'll look like three or four lines stacked on top of each other. If you click that, and then you go to get more brushes, it'll bring up a web page that looks like this. And I should note, in order for you to get to this web page, you need to be signed in to Adobe Creative Cloud. And I'm also assuming that you have to be a paying subscriber of Adobe Creative Cloud. It would seem kind of weird if they would let people just download these without being a member. So you can read the titles of these different brushes and then compare them against the folders here to see which ones are not included. So as you can see on this page, there's a bunch of different brush packs that are all really cool. So if I check out this half tones one, for example, you can just hit the download button to download it, which will then download this file as an ABR, which is a Photoshop brush file. I'll just go ahead and save that. And then once this download completes, this is a 74 megabyte download, so this is gonna take a little bit of time. I'll go ahead and show you how to load up that brush because it's actually super easy. And then it will just add those brushes back into your brushes menu. Actually, this is downloading super slow. So to very quickly go over this, when you're loading brushes, you can use the hamburger menu in the brushes menu as well by clicking that. And then you can just go to uh, the preset manager. And from the preset manager, you can click load, which will then allow you to specify a folder that you can load those brushes from. I know these brushes are going to load from the downloads folder for me. So I'm just gonna wait for this download to very slowly complete. And once it completes, I'll go ahead and load in the halftone brushes. So once again, make sure you check through all this stuff. And I believe at the very, very top, there's a mega pack download which I think I'm not 100% sure, but I think it actually includes every single brush from this particular pack. And I also see that this download has now completed. So inside this downloads folder, there's a half tones and screen tones.abr file that I can just click load, which will then load it inside of Photoshop. Alternatively, you can just double click on this inside the actual folder. That'll also load it up in Photoshop. Although I will say, make a special folder somewhere called Photoshop brushes or something similar. Uh, something that you're not going to want to delete and then just go ahead and save all the brushes that you download there as opposed to in your downloads folder, which is a terrible place to keep stuff. So now inside my brushes panel, I'm just going to go ahead and close this preset manager. There's a new half tone and screen tones folder. So there's screen tones, there's half tones. Let's check out the half tones and make some of these. So there you have it was super easy to go in here and get these extra brushes. Great for texture. And also this is super duper awesome if you own a tablet of some sort for drawing on, because then you'll get things like pressure sensitivity, the direction of the stroke. I'm just using a mouse here, which isn't ideal, but it still does show the fact that these are pretty cool brushes and extremely useful. So that's really it for this video. I don't know why Adobe sort of buried or hid these brushes as much as they did and not just include them all in Photoshop by default. But if you didn't know, now you know. So feel free to leave a comment in the comment section about what you think about these brushes. And also, if you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't find this video helpful, you can hit that thumbs down button. And if you wanna see all my videos, there's that bell icon where YouTube now hides most of my videos by default if you're not clicking that bell. So feel free to do that. But that's really it for this video. I do hope you found it helpful. And until the next video, see you later.